uh, Dan Judge, president of the Thomas Jefferson Foundation. Mr. Jefferson did not observe his birthday, and we obviously do. His thoughts on the subject are well recorded in a story recounted in the memoirs of a friend. On Mr. Jefferson's extension to the presidency, the mayor and corporation waited on him, requesting to be informed as which was his birthday, as they wished to celebrate it with proper respect. Mr. Jefferson responded, quote, the only birthday I ever commemorate is that of our independence, the 4th of July. On behalf of my wife, uh, Lou, on behalf of our trustees, on behalf of my colleagues on the staff, in cooperation with the United States District Court for Western Virginia, I welcome you, one and all, to a commemoration of what Thomas Jefferson himself described as, quote, that great charter of our independence, as adopted 225 years ago today. That charter, or declaration, became at once a resounding creed of Americanism and, at the same time, an everlasting and universal expression of self-evident truths and unalienable right. The Foundation believes that for history to be accurate, it must be inclusive. Uh, we also believe that Jefferson uh, cannot be understood apart from the institution of slavery, and that Monticello uh, cannot be understood apart from the enslaved African-American community uh, here.